Well, we met six years ago, six, yeah, six winters ago on uh, Big Mountain, training for the 2010 U.S. Telemark Ski Championship. I don't remember when we actually met. Apparently it was on a T-bar uh, during a beer race league. Engaged, and then I decided that shoot we're gonna start a brewery and uh, so like during our engagement and early part of our marriage yeah we were like in the midst of building a brewery too so uh, you know no pressure I absolutely love beer I love drinking beer I love making beer uh, Maggie does too uh, I was a home brewer for 10 11 years before we started the brewery and it was definitely a passion. I was like kind of obsessed with it. And so it, it didn't seem unreasonable to maybe uh, go a step farther and just start making it and selling it as opposed to drinking it all myself. Getting to work with my husband means we get that together time that most people don't. And so it makes me much more aware of a cool work environment and a supportive work environment and a happy place and to really value our employees' time. Working with Maggie uh, has forced me to put a lot more passion into the job. I can't let down my wife. I gotta make really good beer or else. I think one thing that has hopefully helped with uh, Calspell Brewing Company's early success is the fact that we were teammates first before we fell in love. So we kind of know each other on a whole lot of different dimensions and I think when you're athletes you push each other, um, you reveal your true self together um, without any artifice of like, hey I'm on a first date, I should like be really polished. The sneak date. It was sort of a sneak date. So I met him at Wasabi, I didn't change really out of my ski gear. I thought she thought I was a weirdo because I wore a jacket. I probably had not shower in days, which is pretty typical. <laughs> Sorry. She realized like halfway through, she's like, hey, this is a date. And about halfway through dinner, I realized this was so not a friend thing and that we were in love. <laughs> like I remember looking across the table and just kind of realizing that I was sitting across from my husband. I was like, this is the guy I'm going to marry. And um, somehow it happened. Mushy, gushy stuff you don't really want to hear about. It's really kind of awesome to be able to spend uh, not just those eight hours between when you get home at night and go to sleep with your spouse, but actually like work with them. In some ways it makes marriage easier, but in a lot of ways it can make it harder because there's no like distinction between what is business and what is life. One of us will sit bolt upright in bed in the middle of the night and start talking about like business. You know, uh, sometimes it's a little hard to sort of differentiate or, or draw that line between where is this like a business decision versus like a relationship decision and step back and you know, uh, not let the two cross over. You know, I think between remodeling a hundred year old building, starting a business and now having a kiddo, we are pretty unbreakable. I don't know if this should make it on film, but like our big thing is like, just don't be a douchebag. Yeah. <laughs>